Have, yeah. fun, have fun storming the castle. Think they'll make it? Uh, it took a miracle. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. In today's RPG Maker Let's Play, we take a look at the Magi Chronicles by Dross Ray. Thank you, Dross Ray, so much for your support on Patreon. We love you, guy. All right, so this is a RPG Maker VX Ace. VX Ace, okay. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at it. First off, the screen looks great. It looks like it's going to be an epic fantasy. Yes. You know, full of drama and pathos and a little bit of humor. Yes, and like lots this. of fire. Oh, so, so much, much fire! fire. Um, I don't know how certain things happen with with the different scripts, like how effects are done. Mm -hmm. um, so that little glowing effect in the middle is just so good. I I can't say enough good stuff about it. No, this is a great splash screen. It, it really, really is. is. It really is. So let's jump right on in. Uh, let's see. Yep, we're good. All right, new game. <clears throat> Ooh, game controls. Movement. Dash. Accept. Cancel. All right. Okay. Okay. You know, we always dash. Yes. Okay. Ah, That's controller fun. control, you know. Dog on it. Oh, well. We're going to do this with the <laughs> keyboard. Tee -hee. Here we go. Ooh, Wraithal. Nice. For when you have that sore throat. All things dry on the aura of the gods. Who is talking? Yeah, he is. But over the last millennium, last millennium, it has begun to. It has begun to weaken Trebek. Cool. There is little time. There is little time. Okay. I always like voice acting. Yeah. In things, there's Theosia. Yeah. You Ooh. Again. Ooh, it's Are black and white. Fully voice act up? You heard that? Jesse has talked. I'm going to have to turn the music volume all the way down and turn the voices all the way up. <laughs> so we get the full effect. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good to see you again, old friend. Oh, good, good acting. Yeah. What brings you here? It's about your wife. Ooh, what about my uh -oh. wife? Uh-oh. Huh? Lawyer voice. <laughs> There's a child in the hallway, eavesdropping. Whisper, oh, whisper, 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 whisper. Whisper, oh, whispering. Consultation. Go now. I don't want to see your face here again. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a bit of a Scottish accent too. Drasius, please. You What'd you do to his to wife, huh? <laughs> what did he not do? You pig. Leave this place. There will come a day when you will have to tell the boy. Goodbye. The boy is the chosen one. All right. I banged your wife, and now there's what is up with that dream I keep having? Oh, well, hello, Daryl. Hey, it's little Daryl. So Daryl's face looks a little different than the others, or was that just me? Art style? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's because he's younger. Well, because he's younger, he's a fresher face. Ah, got it. Okay. But every time I ask Dad about it, he just brushes me off. <laughs> Oh, no. You don't want to talk about his wife's like infidelity. Mm-hmm. He's running late to school. Oh, this isn't, uh... This isn't medieval, then. It's mm -hmm. modern? He's dressed kind of fancy-ish. I mean, he... Well... Well, I mean, but, you know, you know how it is. You're running late for school, so you pop out of bed completely dressed and ready to go. Happens all the time. Yeah, but they didn't have school back in medieval times, so I'm just wondering what time period this is it, fantasy world i'm gonna get stuck on that point you are that's okay. horrible so let's see okay i love the red background yes okay good 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 yeah we're so, on auto dash wait 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 we have to be have to be on dash yeah, we're gonna now. be on auto dash i do want to know though um developer dross let us know which one of these actually handles voices yeah i think it's that or maybe that one of these two let us know. I think it's this one. But let us know. Because I'd like to I'd like to know. Hey, should we have instant text rather than it just kind yeah. of you know, Let's do that. Alright, there we scrolling. go. Scrolling. Okay. Alright. I do like the red. And we are studio blue, not studio red. Okay, I can fine. like it, you know. We can be studio fuchsia. Alright, I'm not messing with that. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see what we got. So we have no items. 
at all? Right? No? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So, different classes of weapon. All right. Nice, nice, nice. And we have guns here, so they're get stuck on that fantasy point, right? Uh, yeah. I want to know what <laughs> what time period are we in? Mm-hmm. Is this even Earth? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, cloak, necklace, general armor, magical armor, light armor. You know what? Armor, Every heavy. contingency has been covered. Yeah. And I like that. I do. Thank you. Oh, are there shoes by any chance? Do we have shoes? No, we are shoeless. <gasps> we are oh, shoeless people. No, 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 uh -huh. no. If you're gonna have all that stuff, uh -huh. you better have shoes. <laughs> it's a true story. All right, let's okay. see some skills, skills. for Darl. He has arcane bolt. Deals arcane damage to one enemy. Has a low chance to hit. Well, we know his magic. Nice. The equipment. He got okay. a wood staff, of course he does, and a cotton robe, because of course he does. Okay, okay. And we have quests and <laughs> synthesis. Right. That'll be interesting. Yeah. All right, can we save? It's kind of like crafting, I suppose. Yeah. We can save anywhere. Daryl's home, level one. All he right. He has no gold. Let's grab that. There's your money and hey. a magic water. Hey, that's nice. Okay. That's what every teenager keeps in his closet. All right. Okay, so uh, there's no description, so that means I guess sparkles are where we get our items, and then it doesn't. We don't bother exploring any place else because there will be no hidden. Right. And there'll be no description. Right. Okay. So the precedent has been set, Dras, that we don't explore any items unless we see a sparkle. Yeah, we don't explore anything, right? So I'm going to look at this book once that's on the floor, and if it doesn't do anything, then yeah, absolutely nothing unless there's a sparkle or a treasure chest. Okay, there it is. So he found a bestiary, but it's empty. You'll have to fight some monsters to fill it. I would put a sparkle on that book for. Yeah, put a sparkle on it since that's what you're yep. kind of going for here. Yep. Potion. Okay. Potions are good. Mom stuff. I wonder what dad's playing. See, you can't do that. No, Either it, put a sparkle there or start describing more things. Yeah. Yep. Halfway okay. halfway house. Can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because why didn't you describe stuff in his room and the kitchen and yep. the So foyer? we're not going to harp on the point all the time. But yeah, as we always say, commit one way or the other. Don't do half. And the father just walked up the He did. The counter. He did. Okay. He's, watch that, that yeah. blocker. Yeah, it's, we're obviously allowed to go right up to it, which is a little weird because of the way the pixels are, are set. See? Looks like I'm kind of standing on the trimming there. Right. I would just block the whole thing off. <laughs> Good morning, son. Wait, shouldn't you be at school right now? Oh, wait, this guy's close. Good morning, son. Wait, shouldn't you be at school right now? Headed there now. Well, you better hurry. Your best hurry. <laughs> so this is Friasia. Friasia. Oh, I love it. I love titles. <gasps> Ooh. And we have an elf. So much green space. I like that. Hey, it's a neighbor. Yeah. Cool. Okay. What, why don't you say I'm not too worried about it? Huh? Uh, that's Wait. neat that there's an elf. Yes. A little one. <laughs> I have pancakes for breakfast with extra syrup. <laughs> I always love little children. So she spoke real. And she's hyper because of all, all the, the extra syrup. syrup. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I don't know if that was intentional or not that she had this moment of just totally spazzing out. But if that was very well done. Now for everyone watching, um, because it's not consistent with voices, Teal and I are just going to add our voices in. Yeah. Otherwise it'll be very silent and that's boring. So let's go in here. And he needs to get to school. Fine. Let's so talk this to... is a blend of fantasy and modern. It seems to be that way because these are kind of semi-modernish tile sets. But um, I think what it is is just a straight-up fantasy world that has a slightly elevated non-dark age uh, okay. world to it. So kind of like your Final Fantasy where there's a amount of technology. Well, I just wasn't expecting it, you know, given the, the splash screen and everything. So yeah. this is a little unexpected. I agree. Um, I think we can fix that by just creating the expectation early on. Um, maybe on the screen with the continents. 
have in the ocean like a steamboat or have some airships oh, in the air or something. Nice. Yeah. Just it's a visual representation that the player can go, oh, okay, that's what kind of world this is. Boom, got it. Let's move on. But you know that people travel from all over Raythal just to attend our school of magic here? It's so very interesting to meet such different people. So uh, I love it. I I'm happy. What is with all that emptiness to the right? That's I, just. I don't know. Use a script to shrink that or fill that up or something. But that's the cutest little red-haired sprite I've yeah. seen in a long time. Yes, and they have pointy ears. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> These long hours are getting to me. Need to get to school. Oops, so I dropped. So are these all elves? Is Daryl an elf too? Uh, no, he's human. He's got rounded ears. He's got round ears. Well, this is interesting. He's living in an elf village. Yeah, it seems that way because we've met two elves. If we meet a few more... Well, they're all elves. That's true. That's elves too. Yeah, maybe they are. So the magic school is in an elf village. Yeah, it seems to be that way. And to everyone watching, the reason we're going over all this is because we're trying to understand the world that the developer has created since we are dropped into it, which is fine, but that means we have to understand more. All right. So she had syrup. She, she did. She had all the syrup. All the syrup forever. One of these days, I hope to have some grandchildren. Aww. Do you have children? <laughs> that's kind of a prerequisite. <laughs> that's it? kind of a... Hey, there's a... There, is that, is that a, a well or a wash basin? That's a wash basin. That's a wash basin. Yeah. Okay. So I do love the life that's been given to this. Little little things moving around like butterflies mm -hmm. and, you know, little creatures. Not too many of those, but you know, just little, little things. Yeah. Very well done. Not a symmetrical map. So overall, really good. Good job. Over here. Frisco okay, School so that magic. tells us where to go. Okay. So I drop. Uh oh. Hmm. Now that I'm here, I can't remember which classroom I'm in this semester. Well, you a stupid ass. Wow. Just my luck. I guess I'll have to ask the counselor. I think there's a sign hidden by that bush. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, 1419 of the Magi era. Okay. So, huh. for people who are watching, I'm not gonna take too long. When you world build, creating things like timeline errors and stuff like that. Is really important to have that in the background. Yeah. If this was something the developer just pulled out because they wanted to have the sign, that's not good. If they had a timeline written of their world prior to starting the development of the game itself, the actual production, then that is good. So do stuff like that, like your history, your nations, that kind of thing, prior to developing. That way you can pull out little tidbits like this that bring life to the world. All right, Luce. There's a clock on the, Where's the wall the up, up there. See that clock? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a modern clock. That is. That actually is a modern clock. You're right, Deal. Maybe a wooden thing around it would make it look a little less like a, a modernized clock. Door's locked. What about this? Door's locked. Oh, sundial. Sundial? <laughs> <laughs> Truly analog. Okay. <coughs> One, oh, it's little classrooms that are numbered. Oh, cool. School counselor. Hello there. Hi. Running late on your first day, are we? Yes. Yes. Well then, what can I help you with to get you moving along? I forgot what class I was in this semester. Oh my god. Straight line. Ah yes, I remember you, Daryl. Let's see. Looks like you're in Miss Gray's room. That would be room 2C. Mmm. You're on the second floor, rookie. Great, thank you very much. No problem. Now get going. Yeah. Let's go on 1A. <laughs> oh, but no! Oh yeah. Let's talk to Professor Stuffins here. <laughs> mm, what should my lecture be on? I know, but there's a book there. <gasps> a book that's not described. No! Uh, uh, and bookcases that aren't described. <gasps> you have sinned greatly. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go Shame, shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> shame. All right, here we to go. To be or not to be? Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> huh? And he just had... <laughs> I love Miss Gray. Okay, favorite character. She is the rain sage of the story, and I love her. <laughs> or McGonagall. Yeah, the two. Oh, I know Miss Gray. Says Hermione. Yeah. Go ahead, Laura. <clears throat> Spark is an electric element based spell that has a slight chance of causing a stun effect that disables the target for a short time. <laughs> it's Hermione Granger. <laughs> it's from Guardian Leviosa. 
<laughs> Not Leviosa! <laughs> oh, there's a voice. Yeah, we're gonna talk over it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Alright, fine. Now, where was I? <sighs> That's right. I was about to pass out the syllabus. Very well done. It is well done. The voice is well done. Okay, so two things here. Um, first off, if you're gonna voice act cinematic scenes, all of it gets voice acted. Yeah. Every line by every character in that cinematic sequence. Just don't voice act every sequence if you can't have your game fully voice acted. Second, I want to say that, Drosh Ray, you're doing this right. I don't know how you went about writing the script, curating the lines, editing, etc. But I've listened to a lot of games where it's very obvious, RPG Maker games, yeah. where it's very obvious that the voice actors had no collaboration whatsoever, uh -huh. and they just puked out their lines. <laughs> and yeah. the developer went with the first cut, because reasons. And there's no interaction. These, I actually feel like there's interaction. So when Miss Gray and Laura were talking, mm -hmm. they actually seemed by their tone to be responding to each other, even if the voice actresses were in two separate countries. It didn't matter. This is, yeah. Very well done. Very well done. So everyone else, this is how you do it, if you do it. Yes, when was it that you were going to go out with me? Oh, wow. In your dreams, Joe. Joe just asked. Yeah. Wow. Hey, like the older women? Yeah. I respect that. Right. Too much too old for any of you. <laughs> Thank you. Dating McGonagall. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. If that's all, then. Eh. Miss Gray, I have urgent news about a student of yours. Oh my god, it's the female version of Dumbledore. One of my students? Yes! This student, Charles, was supposed to attend your class this afternoon, was he not? Uh -huh. Not Dumbledore. No, that is... Um... <laughs> the opposite Dumbledore. That's Umbridge. Umbridge! <laughs> That's right. I had assumed he was not showing up today. Why? What could be so urgent? Apparently, he went missing this morning. Of all the nerve, he told his parents that he was going to Freena Forest, just south of here, to get some mushrooms for a soup. That was the last time they had seen or heard from him today. They came here to check if he'd come to school, but we have no records of him coming by. And judging by your reaction, it seems that he is indeed missing. Oh my, I think we should send someone to go look for him. The obvious looking point would be Freena Forrest, but who would you send? Oh, we know where this is going. Idea. Daryl! Uh, yes ma'am? Oh, uh, yes ma'am? I think this delinquent, uh, I mean, fine young man should do the trick. After all, he was supposedly the top of his class last year. I got, got about a million questions now. Spew. But, Miss Gray! No buts anything, mister. He'll be glad to take this task on. Oh, good. Thank you, Daryl. I'm sure Charles's parents will greatly appreciate your efforts. Sure, I guess. Then it's settled. Report to the counselor when you are done. Good luck, Daryl. Oh, my. What have you gotten yourself into, Daryl? Right? Questionable. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you piss off your teacher. Right? You so, volunteered for these shit jobs. I got about a million questions, oh but I'm going to first make this statement. <laughs> Principal needs a cat. That is non-negotiable. <laughs> and that cat needs to be just as stuck up as she is. <laughs> We're talking, that sucker needs to walk around with its head and tail up in the air like it owns the place. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That'd be cool. That has to happen. Second, um... <clears throat> It is exceedingly irresponsible for an adult to send to for an educator yeah. to send one of their pupils unattended out into the wilderness. Yes, it is. For any reason. Yeah, it is. Unless he's literally walking along a trail that has been vetted and cleared by a million people. It's yeah. irresponsible. If he goes into this area and I see monsters because it sounds like it's his first dungeon. Mm-hmm. 
Very irresponsible. Educators don't do that. Their job is to protect their pupils as well as educate them. <sighs> and, and anyway, she wouldn't be sending the delinquent out there who right. obviously wouldn't know how to handle himself. Right. She would send Hermione. She would send Hermione. Furthermore, you never send one person out into a dangerous no. area anyway. Because that's just asking for cliche. That's asking for trouble. You send Ron and Hermione. Yes. <laughs> and that's how that goes. Um, and the last point is this guy, Charles, who goes di- disappearing because he wants mushroom soup, need maybe a reason for that. I mean, he's going to get mushrooms to get soup. That's just weird. That's kind of stupid. He yeah. knows he has to go to school. So right. what does he do? He goes, runs out, and goes and picks mushrooms. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, Charles? That must be some good mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, it's shrooms. Okay, I get it now for his <laughs> magical studies. Yes. So, uh, let's see where this takes us. All right. First, let's talk to teacher. We're counting on you, Daryl. Oh, God. Whatever. Yeah, Miss Gray. <laughs> that's Joe. Man, I'm so jealous that teacher chose you to go, but I guess it'd be expected to be top. See, that's the thing, too, is also when she was talking, she's like, I hear this delinquent was top of the class. There's no hearsay. He either was top of the class uh-huh. or he's a delinquent. He either was the best last year and now his grades have slid because of reasons, or he was top of the class then, he's top of the class now when he just happened to be late today. I mean, inconsistency, yeah, my name I mean, is the story. If you're late once, then you're not a delinquent. Right. If he's habitually late, then when he shows up, Miss Gray's like, late again? Hmm. You right. know, things like that. <laughs> and Joe is very much in love with Miss Gray. Yay! Have fun with that kid. It's Laura. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. my God. It is Hermione. It's Hermione. Totally Hermione. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, she needs an ugly cat. Crookshanks. <laughs> yeah, she needs Crookshanks. How come her book is closed? I don't know. It should be open. In fact, it should not only be open, there should be pages all around her. Actually, she needs to have <coughs> two books. Two books. Okay, right. hey, who's the girl in the Adongos? Oh, and she gave love. <gasps> Hi, Daryl. Oh, good God. Oh, she's a cat ear girl. She's a cat girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Let's talk to this person. Oh, it's I Harry. wonder if Charles is okay. I'm sure you'll be fine, Daryl. You've always been really good at magic. That's uh, Neville. Yeah. And there's Raven. <laughs> what? What's the deal? I would think Charles could handle himself out there. He's a bit of an oddball, though. Yeah, she's goth. Yeah. Her name is Robin. And Just, now there's Eric. What do you want? Does he like Draco? Yeah. And what's with these two desks? Okay, well, one of them's obviously one. Charles, but where's... Yeah. Oh, wait, there's two people missing. Yeah. Classes should be full. Uh-huh. Okay, so is any of this cool stuff here? No, cool stuff? no, 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 because yeah, we're not, we're not developer exploring anymore. has yeah. not um, described anything, That's so right. don't bother. That's right. Uh, ooh, ooh, upstairs. And <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> I just robbed the school. That was a special fun. Yeah, that was the, yeah. Uh, you know what? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. <sighs> Huh, good luck. Yay. Good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Alright, where the hell am I going? 23 minutes in. And I'm finally going out on my quest. Travel south to Freena 4, search for Charles, bring Charles back to Frankie. <laughs> okay. Alright. Walk slowly, walk faster. Hey, shouldn't we... Um... Probably. Yeah, equip ourselves. Yeah, let's go uh, get some items. I don't think I have any. I have one holy water and my dumb ass is... Oh, hey. I have one potion. Yeah, you have a potion and a magic water, All but right, you let's... don't have any weapon, you know. I have a staff. I'm a mage. Uh, yay. Yeah. You need, like, armor or something. I need gels. I hate gels. <laughs> Uh, where, where are you the going? Item shop? I don't know where the item shop is. I'm lost. Dude, up, Shriek. up, up, up! Oh my god, it's it's the shop that has the stupid little sack oh, on it. Yeah. Duh, the sack, <laughs> the sack. Oh wow, the sack, honey. Mm. <laughs> hey, can I get you something? Yeah. Take a potion. I take a potion. Uh, an antidote. Ooh. Oh, antidote! Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I am so happy yeah. that this developer included. A status healing item. Yes. Thank you. 
And then when they hit you with stun and paralyze. The rage will be indescribable. <laughs> All right, let's save over a separate save. Please. Because with our dumb luck, mm -hmm. we'll run right into a mini boss. Yep. All right, here we go. South to Fresno Forest. And look at the slimes on the I way. want to comment <clears throat> on the slimes. <laughs> slimes yeah. are cute. Yeah. And slimes come in different colors. They do. So you don't just have green slimes. You've got blue ones and you probably have red ones. I love it. Okay, so, wow. Sparkle, sparkle. Very pretty. That was cute. Never mind. Okay, there we go. In dungeons, a save feature in the menu is disabled. Throughout the dungeon, you will find these save crystals. Okay. Well, that's pretty neat, actually. These crystals also replenish the health of you and your party member. Good luck. That's actually good. I like that. That makes me happy. Yay, save. All right, let's go to Fresno Forest. I'm going to butcher it on purpose. Yeah, you are. deep dee dee path, path. Better be safe. No enemies. Oh, wait, there's an enemy. Okay. What are we finding? Yeah. I heard monsters were showing up around here, but I didn't believe it. Why, oh, why did they send me, a kid, by myself? That almost seems irresponsible. I guess I'll show them what I'm made of. Yeah, you're made of soft jelly. I have a philosophical reason why I don't like people fighting slimes. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> look, really the, the slimes have weird little smiley faces in them there. It, it kind of... It's rather odd. It's like a Picasso. Yeah. Battling starts simple. You will gradually get more complicated as you progress in the game. Good. You'll first notice the battle commands on the lower right of your screen. Right there. Daryl is a mage, which means his battle options are attack and magic functions. Attack is his physical hit while his magic is MP to cast monster. Okay. Okay. Counter down only has one spell, but is much more effective than his physical attack. Then why do I even have one? As he grows in levels, he will learn more powerful spells. Now it's time for you to give it a try. Good luck. You see, what I loved about Dragon Age uh -huh. Origins 2 and Inquisition is that mages had staves that shot magical blasts. Yes, you can hit the You button. never had to worry about your stupid strength as a mage. It was all based off of your magical ability. It was, yeah. Even your basic attack. Why have whackety whackety whack with the stick stick? Yeah. When you get me. You just no. Because you can whack with a pole arm. Yeah. It just doesn't work for me to have a mage who has MP consuming skills and those are the only things that cause real damage and his stick is a whackety whack. It's just not only is it cliche, yeah. but it's it actually is detrimental to the character. Gandalf was an awesome magician. Yeah. Wizard, who also had a freaking sword. Yeah, he did. So let's let's kind of let's mix that up. All right. Yeah, the slimes are a pretty sky blue color, and I'm not really sure about the expression on their faces, but I would clean that up a little bit and have them smile a little bit more. But by, by the way, every developer who watches Studio Blue, if you want your slimes properly critiqued, contact Teal on Discord. This is what she does. <laughs> I love slimes. Okay. <laughs> Let me just close my eyes while you hit them. Oh, I'm going to murder them with Arcane Bolt. I know you are. Oh, those poor slides. You know, they didn't do anything to deserve this. No. Oh. So you know, they were going about their business. Right. Uh, drinking some water <laughs> and talking about what happened last night. And then yeah. suddenly this horrible interloper comes into their forest. Yeah. And starts killing them. I have their ooze. Oh. <sighs> All right, God, okay. this is a gorgeous map, by the way. Drass, you make amazing maps. The last game of yours that we played, map was beautiful. This map is gorgeous. You just, you really understand maps. Here we go, slimes! <sighs> Might not want to look. I'm about to kill this slime. I know. I got my eyes closed. <laughs> she really does. Oh, and oh but the sound. The sound! <laughs> Stop so, muted. <laughs> so, um, oh, Arcane Bolt cost one. And basically, I never need to use a physical attack if it costs one. In fact, if I can heal my MP really easily, I would it's just... Yeah, going back to physical attack, it makes no sense. I got a mushroom because it was sparkling. I got yeah. a mushroom. Yay. That's a thin that Ooh, that's sparkling over there. That's oh, a slime. I will avoid the slime for Teal's benefit. Thank you. Oh. Ooh, treasure. But ooh. So let's see. Okay, hold on. Do we have to push rocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be... Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. You know, we put these kind of puzzles in our games, too. We do. 200 gold. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh! 
Yeah, because it was sparkling. You know what? That's what synthesis is all about. This is a crafting system. I love it. Okay. Synthesis is good. I, I, well, y'all know I love crafting. Yes, Teal loves crafting. More sparkle mushrooms. Yay, mushrooms. Yeah. Although I will say the sparkles need to be a little more pronounced because your firefly effect is um, making it a little difficult to. I don't know. You're just making it a little difficult yeah, to see the it sparkles. Is right. Oh, that one just came out of nowhere. They want revenge on their friends. Yeah, you've been killing their buddies. Probably uh, somebody's cousin. So yeah. yeah. They were all going to the puny picnic. Sorry, Otlier, the <laughs> slime picnic. <laughs> and uh, now I'm the most wanted man in all of. Uh, Freeze your forest. Yeah, because I'm a slime killer. There's there's wanted posters. Watch out for this guy in the break room. Yeah. Ha ha! A spider! Ooh! Yeah! Oh, it's a little tougher. Uh -huh. And that's probably where the poison comes from, too. Probably. And they're not dying in one hit. I would say two hits would be enough. Two if hits. If you're gonna balance it, yeah. Yeah, two hits. Yeah. Yeah, three that's not enough. Many. Yeah, three hits is too many. Especially considering the amount of damage they're doing. There's like a battle balancing spreadsheet out there somewhere specifically for RPG Maker games. Okay. And yeah, I one. recommend everybody ever who's making an RPG Maker game get those. Because they're very, very well put together. Is that an exit? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to go over yeah. here first. And there's mushrooms. Yes, we will get the mushrooms. You know, Charles must be pretty sad because there's all kinds of mushrooms at the entrance. And what was he thinking? You could just you could get mushrooms and then go home. Yeah. I mean, I've picked all the mushrooms I need for soup. And yeah. I, you know, Yay. Charles is pretty shitty. Yeah. My estimation of him has dropped considerably. Yeah, he dead. I've seen worse monsters inside a storybook. Look at him talking smack. Oh, I hate you, Daryl. Yeah. You don't you don't talk smack about creatures that you just myrtilated like Yeah. That. It's just they had wrong. families. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite line in Saints Row 4. Quick boss, shoot the light. <laughs> that light. Kinsey, that light has a family. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, what am I doing? How's he going up there? Did some there's Dude, did you point. see that? That's cool. Okay, save point. Mm. Yay, heal completely. Cause yeah. All right. Um, yeah. I'm about to fight a boss, aren't I? Or get surprised by a spider. <laughs> Ooh, I have spark now. Yay! Cool. I just randomly learn spells as I level up. I wouldn't actually do that. Not for the beginning of the game. He's a student. I would actually have spells taught to him for the beginning. That's how I would do it. What that do actually makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Since he is a magic student, yeah. he needs to actually learn the spells. Yeah. Not enough games do that, and I think it really adds flavor. Yeah. Okay. And there's probably more to explore, but we're, we're yeah. actually just trying to stay on the main path. Right. I think that's the boss up there. I think so. Good. Help! Yeah, that's dumb dumb. Help. I mean, no cocoon. Yeah, stupid got himself in, in a entangled with spiders. Hey, Ron. Get me out of here, Harry. Oh, no, look out. Yeah, it's Ron. Rawr. Ah! Rawr. Ooh. Against young spider. Boss spider. The boss spider. The boss spider. Hey, how you know it's a god spider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's kill these little bastards first. You know, the music is really cool. It is. It is. Very appropriate. Oops, let's never ever use attack. Stead or Kimball. Yeah. It's got a nice beat to it without being overbearing. Mm -hmm. It's not distracting. And it's a similar melody to the relax music. To it the, is. To the, the field music, the yes. The field music, right. I, I really like that. So I want to see goes. I want to see more mm -hmm. RPG Maker games or games in general that are uh, like Kingdom Hearts where you have field music and then you have similar faster oh, yeah. 
tempoed music for the battle in that area. Right. I really like how they did that. Not enough games do that. This is actually a good fight. It is. Yeah, I like that. I like this fight. Very balanced and at the same time very fast paced. I didn't feel like I was wasting time. It just happened. And that's good. That is, that's cool. <laughs> I wasn't top of my class for nothing. Does this count towards class credit? <laughs> that's like the greatest line this game has given so far. <laughs> What's this? Sweet. Boy, you have no idea how glad I am you came when you did. That spider was about to have me for lunch, Harry. Yeah. Uh, don't mention it. I was volunteered to come find you. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am thankful. Not a problem. We should be getting back to the school now. Yes, I can imagine. Let's go. Return to the entrance? Yeah, let's yeah. just, yeah. Let's just get... Yeah, whateverness. It's always good to say. Yeah. You never know. And Charles is not a party member. Disappointment. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> He's incompetent. I don't want him in my party. Thus the teal hath spoken. All right, back to Fresno, California. Oh, what's that? It's Dragon Master Dine! <laughs> Amazing. The statue's been reactivated. But how? They haven't been working for at least a century. I should know. I'm that old. Yeah. You lad, when did the statue start working again? Hell if I know. I've been in the forest <laughs> all this time. <laughs> I've never seen it do that. I've never seen it do that. Wait, don't I know you from somewhere? I knew your mother. <laughs> <laughs> I knew your mother real well. <laughs> well, you're the spitting image of Thrasius, just a wee bit smaller. Well, he is my father. Hey. Hey, you must be Daryl. <laughs> it's me, it's your Uncle Owen. And Ouch. <laughs> the name's Corin, captain of the 9th Regiment. Baratheon army. The Baratheon, Baratheon army. army. <laughs> that we have a lot of children. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them not legitimate. <laughs> this is interesting and all, but I think I'm gonna take off. I heard that new synthesis shop by the school is opening up today. Oh my God, he's a nerd. He is a nerd. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Very apropos, Thanks really. Me, <laughs> Thanks, Daryl. Thanks for saving me, Daryl. See you later, Charles. So, um, yeah. okay, just to kind of point this out, um, scenes are being rushed. Everything's happening very quickly. Yeah. Um, I don't feel character development so much as I feel plot momentum. And we've seen that with other... That, I mean, that's, it's, it's, it's easily fixable by just taking down uh, how you want the scene to, to flow, right. what you're trying to accomplish, and make sure that the characters' personalities come out through the scene yeah. as opposed to just... Info to the player, go here next. Right. Um, no problem, just point it out. So, Corin, what brings you all the way here? Ah, here's the plot. Before we talk about that, let's go. Let's go all right, let's go. Yeah, see, it's like boom, 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 boom. What the heck? Okay, come on. Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah. So, Daryl is <laughs> not going back to school. No. Uh, honestly, he <laughs> just went to class for like you know, five minutes, and then he was sent out to the woods by himself to right. go find a uh, dum dum. Yeah. And now he's back in town. He's still not going back to school because we're gonna go back to. Uh, How the hell did this boy get top of the class? Yeah. He really he, is a delinquent. He never goes to school. <clears throat> he is worse than a damn protagonist from Persona Five. You know what they could say is, uh, go to school, and we'll we'll catch up right. after after school. Yeah. Let's see if school is mentioned again. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. To see you again, Thracius. Okay, so we'll see if school's mentioned a scene. Probably okay. not. We don't know. Indeed, Just... Corin, <laughs> it's been ages. There we go. Aye, much too long. Daryl was just a wee baby when I last saw him. I do love the voices, by the way. They're very well done. I am a bit curious as to what brings you all the way out here. Basically, I'm here to recruit a mage. To help with a classified mission. Oh no. Please don't do this. Really? Please don't do this. A classified mission, huh? So who's the mage you've come to recruit? You're not going to like it much, but it's your son. Oh my oh! god! 
Oh. Riders convenience. It, it, this, the, the reason had better be ridiculously compelling. What? He, he yeah, doesn't even go to school. Corner. Yeah. He no, He just learned his second spell ever today. <laughs> I am very serious. I need someone who would not raise suspicion. In fact, I have already informed the school of his absence. Well, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> you went over my helmet? <laughs> I know more to the side. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk. <laughs> Do I not get a say in any of this? Obviously not, not Daryl. If that is your real name. It would be best for you to accompany me on this mission, lad. It would be best. Seriously, that sounds like a fucking threat <laughs> in front of his father. It would be best for everyone involved if you just shut up and followed me, boy. <laughs> Jesus H. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're the best among your peers, and I need someone that I can trust. Oh my god, no. He's a good kid, Corin. But are you <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> huh. And if you're looking for somebody who's not suspicious looking and doesn't stand out, don't send in a child. Right? You know? Hello. Oh my god. Don't send in a young mage student. Wow. I mean, unless this is specifically he's going into another school. I will give that. Yeah. If we're going to another school, I'll accept that. <clears throat> I am positive, but don't worry. No harm will befall your son. How do you I'm know that, Corin? Yeah, seriously, because I walked in the forest just now, and I got my ass slimed and bitten. Yeah. All right, then. Do you have my consent? You are the worst father in the history <laughs> of everything. <laughs> oh, my God. My luck. Oh, my. Oh. I get this feeling the two guys are talking over his head. They are so much. Like, he's in the middle of them, and they're just talking and having conversation over his head. Oh. Okay, so what now? <laughs> so happy-go-lucky, Daryl. I'm not sure what caused the teleport statue to suddenly start working, and if it affects the mission. Oh, it's a teleport statue. Why don't you just send him through? It's a port key, so let's see where he ends up. <laughs> Ooh, it's all part of Voldemort's plan. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> would like to travel southwest to Vincia. I know some people there who may provide me. See? Me it's lit up in green. So, go to Vincia. <sighs> that that Sounds means good. don't wander Sounds all over good. the map, Steel. Oh, it's going to happen. Sounds good. Oh, Thank no. <laughs> you know, Steel is going to go find the, the world boss. You know this, right? It's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to die and then I'm going to bitch about it. It's a good thing we robbed the school because, um... We wouldn't have enough money to stock up on supplies uh, if we hadn't. Okay, so let's address all this. Um, first off, yeah, riders' convenience across the board. <laughs> um, okay, instead of sitting here and bitching about the problem, um, I'm actually going to offer a couple of possible solutions. Yeah, we, we need to offer solutions here. So, yeah. <clears throat> and I think this can key into an ability Daryl has. Okay, and we'll explain how he got Spark. Okay. I would actually like to see Daryl, to be this kind of mage, develop what you will about the lore and the story behind it, that he actually gains spells by experiencing them firsthand, like a blue mage or lorist in Final Fantasy. Yeah. And it would be awesome if he got hit with Spark by his teacher when he walked in. Yeah. And then suddenly he's walking through the forest and he gets magically jolted, like something goes through him and he's like, wait a minute, I know Spark. I got hit by Spark early. So you could have him, like, he goes into the classroom, he gets hit by the lightning bolt. Yeah. He gets hit by Spark. He sparks out. And then for, like, the next few minutes, he randomly sparks like a freaking cartoon character. Just something stupid. And then, when he's walking in the forest, yeah, he keeps yeah. sparking. He's like, I keep sparking. And suddenly, zzz, I can use lightning. Holy shit, I got hit by a spell. Yeah. Now, I could do something. And there's the reason why Robert Baratheon there... Wants yeah. to take him on this quest because they need someone who can absorb magic. Wow. <laughs> that would be incredible to grow him like a blue mage. Yeah. And have that be your shtick throughout the story <clears throat> that Daryl, when he gets hit with magic, yeah. a certain number of times, he'll mm -hmm. learn the spell. So that way, you go out into the world and you get hit with magic yeah. to learn magic instead of learning magic through leveling up. I like that idea a lot. You could even go so far as to say he's unique. Right. In that ability. Right. You know, it, other people like Hermione over there, they study and do learn traditional way. Right. Him? No. He yeah. has to get hit with it. He has to get hit wow. with it. 
And I love that idea. I, I think too. that would fix most of the problems. It still wouldn't fix Mushroom Boy. That it, needs to be reworked. It wouldn't fix Mushroom Boy, and it doesn't fix the fact that Daryl just never ends up, he's never at the school. Right. So, the reason you fix Mushroom Boy is you have more people go with you. You yeah. can have Hermione and maybe the teacher and other people right. go with Daryl. It'd be awesome to have Miss Gray go with him when he learns Spark spontaneously. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> she's going be like, oh my god, could he be a blue mage? Holy smokes. You yeah. know, and then she says what it is. So now she, by explaining to Daryl what Daryl is, uh -huh. the player now knows what Daryl is. And now we have other people in the world who know Daryl is this thing. Exactly. Then we've solved the Mushroom Boy problem because it's a class field trip to go save Mushroom Boy. Yes, yes. And when we get back, you could even have Miss Gray in on this meeting. Yeah. And be like, yeah, okay, I saw him do this. And Robert Baratheon's then like, Aha, this is exactly what I need. And it all kind of comes out more organically. Yeah. yeah, it'll be it'll feel a bit convenient, but you're explaining it in a more organic way, and the reader, the player, is player. going to be more willing to accept, hey, this kid has some natural ability. And I wouldn't just have it be forced to leaving town. I would have it be forced to the school, maybe a town meeting, maybe a meeting with a physician or something. You know, give us a few cutscenes, not sure, very long, yeah. where we explore this ability Daryl has, and then Corin comes in and goes like, "Hey, I heard, um, I heard this town uh, has a kid who absorbs magic. Yeah, um, we need you, mm -hmm. and that's it. Second, I need a compelling reason to care about what happens with this other nation, unless this is the nation this town resides in." We don't. We see. We I don't, don't know that. We don't know yeah. that. There's not been enough uh, world lore given to us right. to know how this town fits into the rest of the world. Right. So a little bit of lecturing at the school and books. Perfect books, way. Books. 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 <clears throat> you need yeah. to put these kind of things on your bookcases. Hundred fifty percent. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, well. Talk to Robert here. Yep. Are you ready to leave? I'm gonna talk to you. Let's talk. Sure. What is this mission about? Well, lad, I can't go into much detail at the moment, but let's say it's regarding the security of Barathea and her king. Okay, that's pretty uh, top level there. Yeah, national nah, security, huh? Aye, something like that. Okay. Talk. No talk. Why do you need me for this mission? I need someone that can pass as my son. You two look nothing alike. Nothing yeah, but this alike. is a Baratheon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good catch, deal. <laughs> Very good catch. Uh, I like. I, I, I just go. Blue Mage. Yeah. Blue Mage fixes it. Uh, I'm not someone from Boothia. Oh, so we're not even in the right country? Why should we give a shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Blue Whoa. Mage. Blue Mage fixes this. Yeah. I guess that makes it no. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, fine. Sounds an awful lot like a kidnapping. How, How long, long have we been gone? gone? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he has no idea. This is the most Sadie shit ever. <laughs> okay, we're we're done. We're done ragging on you, but seriously, yeah, Blue Mage. Blue Mage. Pride the Cogitor, Yeah, I hear you can learn magic by being hit by it. Okay. All right, and let's talk to Daddy. Corn's a good man. You can trust him. So is Corn a friend of yours? Indeed, I showed him in the... Bra oh, so we're actually from Brathian. Okay. Okay. I made it Sergeant. Is that how you spell it? Nice. No, that's not how you spell Sergeant. Okay. <clears throat> Six months before Corrin did. Only oh, because you were friends with the captain at the time. You always were his favorite. Bet you made captain two years before you did, but I stayed in. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's the kind of banter I like to see between friends. Yeah. Are you sure? Strong of heart. Helping Corrin's mission is good for you. I trust him implicitly. You mean explicitly? Yeah, explicitly. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you're right. I'm so I'm so sure I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> what are you gonna do while I'm gone? Oh God! All what the women won't are coming I do? over. <laughs> All the women. Your teacher? Mm. <laughs> <sighs> Believe it or not, my life doesn't revolve around you. Worst Ouch! parent ever. <laughs> Son, I want you to know you don't mean as much to me as you think you do. <laughs> I, might have, I might have been. I can't do this. Oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, Lord help me. Uh, okay, oh. yeah. Well, I'm going to go build a patio. Okay, cancel. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go buy uh, potions. We need to buy stuff. <clears throat> oh. 
Man, that's funny as hell. Okay, wait, it's over here. It's up here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, I am a little curious as to what happens. Oh, there's a it. weapon shop next door. Oh, maybe I might get a better stick that I'll never use. Yeah, let's get a better stick. <laughs> uh, can I help you? <laughs> oh, nope, can't use it. 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 What is circle? Can't use it. Can't use it. Oh, Daryl can use that. Oh, Daryl can use the circlet. Ooh, plus six to defense. Okay, I might get the circlet. Yeah. I think your color is weird. That's like, I don't know. That needs to be highlighted so I know I can use it. Um, let us sell some bullshit we don't need. Or better yet, let us synthesize. Okay. Aw, denied. Okay. I would like to see synthesis grayed out until we can actually use it. Right. Straight up. Okay, so, um... So they only sold weapons, so where's the armor? They did. They sold armor. Oh, they sold armor, that too? That Daryl can't use. He so, can't use anything? Yeah, I'm wondering, what? so should we buy the circlet? What do you think? I, I would. Yeah, let's just buy the circlet. Let's Whatever. buy the circlet. Let's buy the circlet. Buy... Circle. There we and go. And then equip. Optimize. Yay, circle mm -hmm. it. On his head. Alright. Yeah. Yay. Okay, we got no more gold, but who cares because we have a circle. We All have right. a circle. Now we're going to talk to our dear childhood friends whom we grew up. Well. Hey, bitch. No, you're not. Thank you, Daryl, for helping us find Charles. Have fun on your trip. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> Dude, and I'm telling you... Have fun storming the castle! Think they'll make it? Uh, it took a miracle. So, like, the cat that you're going to put in the game needs to be there, and the cat needs to be going, meow. Yes. <laughs> Just totally. That cat will be the greatest character, trust me. <clears throat> All right, to see. Don't have too much fun while you're away. You have plenty of homework when you get back. Whatever. So, where's... Wait! Eric, why are you Eric so special? There. There's no reason I should stay here while you go on some trip. Yeah, where's the rest of the class? Oh, they're all gone. What happened? They died. They were sacrificed to the great lord from beyond. Is this, um, like, uh, um, recess? And uh, all the doors are locked. That's scary. I go into B. That's and empty. nobody's there. We need some population here, man. Whoa! Like, all kinds of population. Wow. Seriously, this is weird. This makes me feel There like... is nobody in this school. And he's still saying the same thing. I'm gonna go to every door. Wait a minute. Why is everything locked? Every door. Uh, because they're closed down. This is actually summer vacation. Oh. Oh, here's some random person. <laughs> he said I couldn't leave until he wakes up. I'm gonna be here forever. Well, that's not child abuse. Ah! Oh, <laughs> yes! Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. May very every educator who watches this video lull inside. Yeah. Hello, Daryl. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get. All right. Oh, the door's not locked anymore. Oh, that's where the little girl is. Is that the cat? The girl? little cat girl. Hello, Daryl. Oh God. Hello, Daryl. Meow. Yeah. Sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Empty bottle. For synthesizing. Yay! Now we can go into people's houses and take their stuff. It's gonna happen. Absolutely. Like, no reason for it not to. House on top of the hill. What? The door is locked. Ah. It's the most important... Look. This is the most important looking landmark in your city because it's on a hill and it's right by the fountain. Yeah. And I need to be able to get in there. My soul depends on it. We have two doors. Let's yeah. get duplexed. Oh, it's... It's, it's, it's... Look at that, look at that. What the hell? Little bit of time to baby house. Massive story. Yo. Well, it's a TARDIS. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> would you stop going out the I, door? Like, seriously, I can't move. I can't move. It's, it's horrible. All right. I know it's full today, what I should make for dinner today. Eh, uh, that's nice. I want to just... Where's the sparkles? Is that Laura? That Are is you? Laura. No, it's Aaron. Aaron. Well, what are you doing in my bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> what am I not doing? Oh, wah, 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 wah. They didn't have any sparkles. They suck. They did not have any sparkles. Okay, talk to the maid. I need a cigarette. Thank you. Wow. I, that, do, I do too. Although that does actually... That breaks. Yeah, your... that breaks That breaks it because 
This that smoke. implies a filter. Yeah. Um, I need a smoke. Just, I need a smoke. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do not. No. Please come. What the hell? <laughs> the random face just popping up out of nowhere. I didn't. Yeah, you don't have other people having faces, so you can't have that yeah. one. Who's that? That's a uh, main character from RPG Maker VX Ace. Okay. Yeah, that's Alexis or whatever his name is. Alexis. Oh, there's a sparkle. Oh, it is sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Empty bottle. Wait a minute. So okay. Yeah. We, we need to start being able to synthesize. We I do. Guess. Synthesis isn't open yet or whatever. Yeah. I don't have a recipe or something. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> we have spider legs and stuff. We do. That door's locked. Oh, well. And I can't get to it. Oh, no. Wait, maybe I can get to it from the, the top. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Oh. Whoa. There's another part of the city here. Oh, my God. Where's your little arrows? Wait, I didn't know that. No, you're not allowed to do that. Dude. You need to have your arrows right there. Uh-uh. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's go over here. There's Charles. There's Charles. Hey, okay. now. My hands are going away for a while. I hope you have a good time. Take this with you. Magic water recipe. Yay. Consider it a thank you present. Okay. Thanks, Charles. So now we can synthesize magic water. Yay. That is pretty cool. Steal your stuff. Yeah. Who's that? A that's the girl. Person. That's that's the girl who had a lot of syrup. Okay. Oh, poor thing. Sugar crash. Hard. I wow. love it. Wow. There's a dude there. There's a dude there. It's a farmer. This year's harvest has been lacking. It's getting worse year to year. Why? Harvest is misspelled. Yeah. And uh, why? Why is the harvest getting worse? If they have no reason, then they have to be worried. Yeah. If they if it's because of other things, state the reason. Food margin. Hi. See anything you like? Oh, oh, very well done. And now there's synthesis. And those are the most expensive blueberries I have ever seen, ever. It must be out of season. Look at that, 210 gold for yes, blueberries. Yeah, I see that. All right, synthesis. I have nothing to say. What? Oh, I have to use the recipe, I bet. Or not. What? Okay. Magic water plus recipe? Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works either. Uh, does the journal tell us how synthesis works? Ah. Here we go. Synthesis shop next to the school of magic. No, he did not. No, he didn't mention it. He did it. not. No, he didn't. And I did not get a notice that the quest journal updated. Take a look at the synthesis shop. Talk to the owner of synthesis. Okay, so that sounds to me like a main quest. Like something I should not miss. And I could have easily have talked to Robert Baratheon and missed that. Yeah. So if I were you, I would totally say, hey, go do this and this and this before you go. And make that part of the main quest line that we talk to Charles. Get the thing and etc. Right. House, house, house. Oh, they have the laundry hanging in the back. Oh, God. It's so cute. Look how cute it is. Oh, there's Laura. Aww. I want to learn all the magic there is. Oh, that's hilarious. She explains <coughs> why her house yeah. is bigger. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you see, this is acceptable. Yeah. This is acceptable. But this needs to be the only house that's bigger yes. on the inside. Straight up. Oh, it's a little person. Save me from my sister. <laughs> okay, so two things. First, I thought Daryl, Laura, and the rest of them were teenagers, albeit older, like maybe 17, 18. Yeah. Second, that is not a teenager. That's a child. That's a child. That's a child sprite. Yeah. So, just saying. I think every house should have a sparkle. I think it should. And I also think that uh, Teal brought up a great point um, about Laura's house. Mm -hmm. And not only is that funny and it kind of breaks one of the RPG Maker tropes, yeah. but it also could be something people talk about. I, yeah. I would, it would add life to the world. Yes, it would. All right, so is there any more in this direction? Nope. Okay, back here. Well, where do those trails go? Was well, that off just... in the wilderness? Yeah, no okay. All right, so this is a shop that Charles did not tell us about. I'm guessing it's this thing right here. No, that's the item shop. Oh, but well, it is this menu, doesn't it? Okay. I told you it's north. It says it's beside the magic school. Oh, is it that little arcane symbol? Yes. Okay, yeah. You need to straight up say, Charles needs to go, it's blah, blah, blah. Like, straight up. Well, I figured it out. Well, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> I hate you. Uh... <laughs> All right. 
Hello, welcome to my synthesis shop. I sell lots of synthesis materials for all your synthesis synthesizing. That's a lot of synthesis. Yeah. You said this is before? <laughs> Sorry, you need to make that an old man who goes, synthesis. <laughs> yeah. Over and over again. To the point where it spits on Daryl when he talks. <clears throat> Here's your first recipe. Well, it's not really. No, it's not, because Charles gave us recipe. Yeah. Alright, so, to synthesize anything, you must first have the recipe for that item. These recipes contain a list of required items for the synthesis. You obtain a recipe from other dealers, or who knows, you may be able to find some rare ones in a dungeon or something. Anything can happen. Yay. Once you have your items, go to the menu and select synthesis. Would you like to visit? Yes, I would. Yeah, because this is crafting, man. Holy shit. With this fucking incomplete map, what the hell just happened? Whoa! What? What is this? I think your parallax uh, plug-in broke. Welcome to this another tutorial. I will show you the basic thing. Fun, right? Okay, <clears throat> firstly, we need to bring up the menu screen. Do, do. Yay, face sprite change, too. What the hell? Wow, that's a. <laughs> hey, Daryl. How you doing? Wow. Dude, what happened, Drass? This is not like you. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. So, there are a lot of options here, but for now, let's focus on the task at hand. Let's choose synthesis. Hey, it's filthy lucre. <laughs> hey, so this is menu, remember recipe. Oh, okay. We're gonna make a potion. Yeah, we need potion. Right. Okay. Alright. Pretty simple. Yeah. Selection screen, families, okay. Cool. That's pretty robust. Container healing mixing agent. Okay, very similar to the yeah, reagents used in Elder Scrolls. Okay. Empty bottle. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Regen. Oh, so yeah. Okay, so you're adding traits by the different ingredients. I love that. This is really neat. Very well done. This is the kind of game where I would have a laptop with a spreadsheet. She would. And I would start creating my uh, crafting spreadsheet. Straight up, this is what Teal does. Yeah, that's what I do. That's cool. Nice. That's so well done. And then perform synthesis. Oh, uh, okay, that's not, no, no. Eh, 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 cut right there. No chance of, no, the item always is made. Yeah. You just have a percentage chance of the quality. Right. Depending on your level of skill. So you can either be average, poor, whatever, up to superb as you get better and better, like Elder Scrolls. Right. But do not have a success rate like that because uh, you don't want to have to be blowing materials. and That's just really frustrating, yeah. actually. It, it really is. Uh, there's nothing worse than spending time to get an item that... <sighs> yeah. Okay. So all I'm going to say is this. In Elder Scrolls Online, whenever I wanted to improve a weapon or armor, I would make sure that I had enough of that tempering agent to bring that success up to 100%. Right. To screw you for building up a weapon over time to only have a percentage chance of it being destroyed when I'm tempering it. Same thing with synthesis. All right, I think finished and we're done. Yay! Cool. Yay! Enough chit chat for now. How about we get down to business, hmm? I never want to talk to you again. I hate you. <laughs> what can I do? Dealer. Okay. She sells you items. I sell you items you already oh, synthesized previously. Spend money instead of items. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. I All got right. it. I, I kind of respect was, that. You know, this, this, uh, this idea, this concept was in uh, Adelaide Sophie. It was? Yep. Uh, I like the, this. The, the little girl, yeah. she would copy your items that oh, you'd okay. already synthesized. I, I like that. I, I, actually, yeah. to be honest with you, I like everything about the synthesis system except for chance of success. Except for the success, right? Yeah. yeah. This is actually a good system. Straight up. Which I can't do because I don't have poop. And how did that show up? I can synthesize weapons, armor, and key items. I am Ooh, loving this. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Let's shop for... Nice, look at that. Absolutely nothing because I have nothing. That's cool. But it's okay. Yeah. I know how to do it. We've commented on the system. Hey, what was that um the teleport thing? What was that? What's that? It is a synthesis. Oh that's, okay. Dulker. It's like an alchemy table. Right. Which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Like 
I'm actually, I feel dumb for asking the question because, you know, yeah. I'm actually impressed by the amount of work that went into the system there. Alright, so let's see what this does. Yay, it's slow, blue, and hum. Mm -hmm. This is my secret girlfriend right here. Cool. Alright, here we go, moving on. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah, we're I done I think here. it's time to... Wait, let's see if I can sneak to the well. Nope. No, it won't let you sneak to the well. Ah! Mm, pucker nuts. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's talk go. to Robert Baratheon. Yep. Take us on the quest, sir. Yes. Yeah, we're ready. Coran, join Japan. <laughs> and out of nowhere, a bunch of trumpeters appear and go. Du, 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 du. That shit needs to happen. <laughs> you could so tongue and cheek the hell out of this. It does right. lend itself to it. It really does. Okay. He's rear. All right, so. I'm a young mage starting off on my journey. Yeah. This is a grizzled old war veteran. He's level four, just like me. <laughs> this bitch needs to be like level 10. I don't know, maybe he uh, has a gimpy leg. Ouch. And it busted him down. Double ouch. So what's he got? He has a battle action chainmail, because that's what we give grizzled old war vets. He has a strong attack and rally, because that's what grizzled old war vets have. If this guy's going to be a regular party member, we need to work on that. Because I'm not buying that this guy has years of experience. Okay, so the best way I've ever seen that handled, we actually just saw the anime about a month ago, was Tales of the Abyss. Yeah. Where Jade starts off the game as a massive badass. Yes. And then, in like one of the first few encounters that he's in, he gets his skills dropped. So badly. Like, seriously. And it's an yeah. in-game reason for them doing it. Like, it makes perfect sense. Oh, yeah. And then he has to regain the abilities he's lost by, you know, time. Yeah. Which is experience as you play the game. And, yeah, time experience. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if Corin is a real grizzled vet and he's going to be a regular part of the party, do something like that. Or just have him be a badass and we have to catch up. There ain't yeah. nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think it's Edgar Figaro in Final Fantasy VI starts off a little higher than Edgar, um, than um, Locke and Terra, and that's okay. Okay, here we go. Yay! Statue glows. Yay! And what? Oh, we have to go to the southwest. Doesn't do anything. I want to use that teleport statue. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So now we're gonna save. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's get to our Valencia okay. before we call it for the day. Because I want to see where this goes. Okay, okay so Southwest Valencia. And Northwest is the Tower of and you Venus. And you misspelled Northwest. You did. Yeah. Okay, no, no killing of slimes. Avoid the arse daggers. I really like your world map music. Yes. And... I'm okay with the world map being this size because you've got things happening. I would fill it up a little more, personally, but... Yeah. All right, here we go. Vincia. Yay! Whoa! Wait, whoa! Dude, did you see that dude Don't... over there? He walked forward and just died. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm, I like this. Yeah. I like that we walk in and bad shit happened, uh -huh. but I have zero feeling for the town because the town's never been talked up. <clears throat> And I would love to see Corin talking a little bit about Vincia, mm -hmm. maybe while they're on the way there, you know, have some conversation, maybe have a bridge or something they cross that triggers a cutscene that we have to watch. Oh, yeah. You know, because I loved in Lord of the Rings uh -huh. when Gimli spends time talking up going to visit his cousin in Moira, Moria. Yes. And how awesome it's going to be, and everything's going to be great, and they walk in there, and everybody's dead. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to feel that. Okay. What the hell happened here? This is awful. This is awful. Who what would do something like this? I don't know. I'm not sure, lad. We'll need to find out. I want to say that... The uh, sprites. Yeah. The the dead sprites. Yeah. It's very well done. Very well done. I I just hate it when people take like 
a, a laying down sprite just you know yeah. just lay it down uh, this this is a, look at their their position of their their hands and feet yes very very well done yes very well done it makes me feel that there actually are injuries here uh block the door with rubble or make me able to go inside right dead child always horrible well well, well. Uh, and look at the fact that when i walk there's splashes of water that that's a so, nice touch seriously well done Dead people, dead yeah, people, dead, dead people. people. Yeah. This is great. Oh, so powerful. Why? What do you mean? Why? What? Oh. Oh, well. Okay, just no. Gurgle. Get gurgle. Yeah, something. Any dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have, have uh, blockers or blockers something. Blockers, something. Or let us go in and see the devastation on the inside. Yeah. A little extra work ain't gonna kill nobody. All right, um, I love this. I do too. Wow, <laughs> very nice. Okay, so we take more villagers. Okay. okay. <coughs> He's, He's evil. evil. He? What are you talking about? Mm. Damn it. Let's keep looking. Talk to the kid. Dead kid. Dead kid. Dead boy. You can't go in the houses. I know, but I'm gonna try anyway. All right, let's talk to Space Dandy over here. Everyone, Everyone save, save them. We're here to help. Just tell us what happened here. Summon monsters. Someone summoned what? This isn't getting us anywhere. What was that? Oh no! I don't know, but it came from the west. Bitch, it's a dragon. Yeah, I hope it is. That'd be neat. Mm -hmm. I'd like a big dragon, please. Where are my dragons? Instead, we get Kefka. Yeah. Zombie Kefka. I'm gonna zap the church. Stop this now! <laughs> wow! This guy is a piece of work. Whoa! So, you want to turn now too? This is not a game. Sorry. Kid. Hit me with your best shot. Seriously, this conversation they're having is like a conversation that a good guy and a bad guy have halfway through the game. There, th that was yeah. Let's give more. Good luck. And he goes Leaves off away. with a little sparkle. Wow. That was kind of cool. It's on a side view. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's all front view and. Cool. Um, Screen needs to be darker. There needs to be rain, lightning. Yeah. It looks like we're fighting in Happy Field Land. Yeah. I keep expecting the Teletubbies to run by. All right, Spark. Yay, Sparky. Ooh, it's dangerous. Rally. Oh, we can't use Rally. But we can use Strong Attack. Yay. Oh, God, that's a lot of damage. Is it Corrin? I actually can't tell. Oh, me. Okay. Okay, I got it. All right, smack, smacky, smacky, smack. Stronger attack. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. Okay. Is there gonna be a strongest attack? I need to heal myself soon. Nope, just strong attack. Okay, so we can rally or whatever. Alright, let's heal the kid. Oh shit. Or we can bring Okay, oh uh -oh. dead kid. Dead boy. And we can't bring him back up. Oh well. Oh, no, better keep Corinna. Uh, someone at the rally or something. Wow, that just negated the rally. Yeah. Wow. Why is this guy so strong? Um I'm Are we scripted to die if or we're what? We're scripted to die, we will talk about it. We were not. What? Okay. Unbalanced, completely unbalanced. The, ba the yeah. boss was too powerful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I could have healed myself, but I had two healing items. There's no way. So, yeah, definite balancing issues on that boss. Um, <clears throat> so, I think we're done for now. But the good news is, is there are a lot of good systems in place to kind of start this on its way. I know that um, this is an older game of yours, Drosses, and that's fine. But let's take the lessons we learned, and, yeah. and if we don't revisit this game, we'll see. Uh, at least apply it to what you, you continue to do. Um, I know you're doing that fantastic game in the Smile Game Engine slash Unity, which we're very excited to see develop on our channel. Yeah. 
Um, but as far as this goes, um, I think it's it's a it's an issue on plotting coming out, mm -hmm. pacing of the scenes, scenes going too quickly, and then the boss being way too overbalanced. Right. Uh, overpowered, I mean. Uh, not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just it's work that needs to be fixed for a for this game to be best it can be. Right. Um, mapping good. The mapping is excellent, and uh, the music is good too. Yeah. I love the uh, synthesis system. Yes, you the do. Crafting a is so cool. Really good job with that. Your on-screen encounters are very well spaced. I didn't feel like I was fighting too many monsters. Yeah. Um. So just work on those issues that we talked about, and this is for any game you do. Give us more of the world we're in. Yeah, we need to before, have a little bit more background. Right, right, just a little bit more. Um, and I'm sure you'll, you'll you'll do great. Yeah. All right. Well, for everyone else, let us and the developer know what he can do to make this game even more fun. Sure. And uh, let us know what you think. All right. Well, if you like what you saw, leave a smack down the like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over Discord, Facebook, Twitter. We'll see you in the next video. And... Happy Easter! Easter!